What's going on guys? My name is Anaviz and welcome back to another Forza Horizon 4 video. In this video, we're going to be checking out the new Etel design Zedrono or Zero Uno as a whole bunch of people are speculating on everywhere about because nobody knows how to pronounce it. Now before we start, I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be uploading every Friday and Tuesday starting today because I have school to deal with and I want to, I still want to upload content for you guys. So I'm just going to upload on a schedule because I feel like I feel like I won't miss a lot of content and that I could share with you guys. But let's get into it. Uh, right now our car is getting delivered, sorry. Um also another thing just one more one more thing. I'm doing a voiceover and this is like the first time I've ever I've ever done a voiceover on one of my videos. But my voice that I had for this video, um, the file was weird. Like I was, it sounded like I was on helium the entire time, which is weird because I don't sound like that. But it was also sped up and then I tried to slow it down and it still didn't work. It just made me sound like, like a super high pitched helium guy in slow motion. So that's why I'm doing this uh, voiceover so it's a little bit weird for me so if I like mess up or miss out on something on the video just know that it's because I'm doing a voiceover for the first time in my video but right now what I'm showing you is we went into drone mode because I needed to show you something look right there on this on the side skirt well I mean if you can ever look on the side skirt right now it'll it'll go back to the side skirt right now we're just go walking around the entire car right there that side skirt you know where it says zero two there's a little easter egg or sort of hidden thing that a lot of people might not know about and i found this out because i was watching ar12 gaming's video and right th uh, that side skirt where it says zero two on mine it says zero one for him right now there's a way to change that number the way to change that number I will discuss later on in the video because it deals with some other thing in the game. Now, right now we're just we're just looking at the car, right? It look it looks good. I like the way it looks. Um, AR12 said it reminds him like part R8, part uh, Lamborghini Huracan, something like that. With me, right there, the back of it, all I see is a Lamborghini Huracan. That's all I see. I mean, not a hurricane, my bad. Uh, the Aventador. That's all that I see from the back of it. It, it just looks like, like, a, like an Aventador. Over here in the front, I found another little feature. And I thought, it was, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty... It was well hidden because it took me a while to understand what it was. But if you look at the odometer, right? You see like the rev limiters and everything. Well, under the 10, there's a number. Like not the long number, the one at the very bottom of that long number. It says 14.2 degrees Celsius, 14.4 degrees Celsius. Now, I did end up checking. Uh, I looked it up on Google because I run Fahrenheit and I don't know what 14 degrees Celsius is or whatever. So I, I, I decided to look it up, right? I run, I run Fahrenheit, like I said, and I think I go into like right now I should be going to like the pause menu so uh, right here okay so you see how it says 58 degrees Celsius right there at the top well I looked that up on Google and I can look it up again really quick hopefully if I put 58 Fahrenheit to Celsius it says 14.4 degrees Celsius, which is pretty freaking accurate to what the car was reading. So the car has a realistic thermometer that reads the exact temperature. I thought that was pretty cool because not a lot of games or not a lot of car games will add that into the car, even though the actual car in real life has that feature. Now, this is the first car I've ever seen it. I don't know if it's because I was like not paying attention to it, but I thought it was pretty interesting nonetheless.
So we're gonna upgrade the car. Just, just, just a few little upgrades. No, nothing, nothing major, except for the spoiler because the spoiler is a uh, pretty, pretty darn awesome. Look at that right there. What does that remind you guys of? I want you to comment down below in the comments because I really want to know what that reminds you of. To me, what it reminds me of, I hit my cat with my iPhone by accident. Um, what it reminds me of is the Lampadati Zentorno. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Like Lampadati, I'm pretty sure that's like, like that's the brand. But the Zentorno from Grand Theft Auto Five, that's what this like that spoiler reminds me of because that's what the Zentorno uh, has. Like that's the, that's one of the spoilers that the Zentorno in GTA Five has. The rest of the stuff that I did, it was just uh, like standard, like Forza Arrow and stuff. Like I don't put it on a lot of cars. I just put it on this one just because. Uh, it was running uh, race tire stock, which is it's pretty good, but it still puts out a lot of understeer, which is kind of weird. I mean, look at how much downforce you have in the front. Look at how many uh, diffusers. Look at how many splitters there are right there in the front. I mean, you would think this thing could corner like a beast. No, this thing over this thing. Not oversteers. This thing understeers so hard. Like, it's insane. It was pretty annoying for me. You're going to see right here in this race how bad it understeered. It was ridiculous when I saw it. Or when I was playing with it. You see here, around the corner. I have it full out max. Well, now, now it's full out max. But look, look. Some of these corners, it's just... It's ridiculous how, how much it understeers. Like, look at that. Right here, I think one of these corners. Look right there. I wasn't even going that fast, and it, you're gonna tell me it understood that much? Right here too. Look. Somewhere around here, I crashed into like a staircase. I think it was the second lap, and I hit this. I hit a staircase, like right there. Also, by the way, that Lamborghini. I mean, that Lamborghini. That McLaren Senna Lego. It's so freaking bright. It's brighter than my dang future. I swear to God. Also, what I noticed. They had put, like, the ports of devs or whatever. They put, look, they have another car. The same one. They have another Ital design. Zerono. I feel like they're trying to hype it up a little bit, but I don't know. But, like I said, this thing, this thing understeers so much. Like, I would like it a lot if it didn't understeer. And I feel like part part of the problem is that most of the most of the dip is biased towards the front. So like most of the power is going to the front wheels, which is spinning the front wheels faster than the rear. And that's why I think it it understeers a lot like that. So I don't know. Look right here. Oh, it wasn't here. It, I think it's the next lap then. Where I hit like I was going I was doing so well. And I ended up hitting the staircase because of the understeer. It was, it's not something you want to do in a race. Luckily, I had rewind on, and I know that's cheating, sort of, but still. Right here, we're just going around corners, going around corners. We're just, we're just doing, doing what, what you do in a race. There's really nothing, nothing fun about this. It's like I'm just racing, right? Just want to see where it is. I crashed into the. I think it's right here. It should be right here where I hit a staircase. And it's like, not even going that fast and you're gonna tell me I hit a staircase. Right here, in this, in this one. Boom. 70 miles an hour around that corner. You're gonna tell me I'm gonna hit a staircase? Like, really? Look at, like, the amount of downforce that I would think I had, I don't have. And I think that's, that's very dumb. Anyways, we win the race, boo-hoo, to everybody else that lost. Over here, I remember now. Right here is where I want, where I'm gonna show you the how to get the zero one on the side of your car on the side skirt. If you do not want the zero two, now there's two stock paints, right? You have the red one with the white uh, secondary, and then you have the white with the Italian flag <clears throat> off of the roof and hood. Now, if you look at the side, like a lot of people, I'm pretty sure they don't pay attention to this. If you look at the side skirt. If it ever goes to the side skirt right there, I don't know what I was doing there. But right here, like look at the side skirt. I'm going to zoom into it eventually, but I don't know when. Another thing, you can't have like a different paint job with 
the Italian design logo. And if you notice too, if I change the hood color, the the logo disappears like off of the entire car. So if you if you change the hood color, if you try and change the wing color, the rim color, or if you try and make your windows dark, as you can see right now, the the decal it just disappears. Like why? Keep that in there. It's not that hard. Sorry about that. Right there, I changed it back to red, changed it back to white. I don't know when it is when I like zoom into it and I like paid attention to it. Right here, I was just, I think I was just messing with everything. Like, I was just trying to see what you could do to the car and everything. So, so yeah. As you can see right there, if, if you can barely see it, it says zero 01 on the side of it. Um, but that's how, if you guys want like zero 01 on it, then just change the color of your car to like the white one. If you want the zero 02 on it, just leave it in the red color that it comes with stock after you win the car from one of the events, event championships, and you should be good. I think I'm pretty sure I noticed it. So I think it's right here, right here. When I go into like camera mode, I noticed it and I was like, what? Boom. I, you see, okay. Right there. You see, it says zero one. Now, if you go to the red one, it said zero two. I might be like going out on this, like a lot. And I'm like thinking of it way too much, but I, I personally feel like a lot of people do not know about that, that little detail. There's four exhausts on it. I don't know what that pipe is right there. I zoomed into it too. There's like a pipe sticking out. It might be like an exhaust coming out of the of the engine. Because I think the engine is rear mounted. But like I didn't understand what it was. It's on both sides too. And then right there I just do thumbnail. So that's the thumbnail you see on when you're clicking the video. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to be uploading every Tuesday and Friday from now on because I have school. And if you guys want to know if I change any updates, if I change any updates, if I change any, like, schedule on that, or if, um... If you guys want to suggest any games or something for me to play, uh, go go follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. That's the best way to find out if I'm going to be posting a video on a different day or whatever. But, yeah, guys. That's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an amazing day. And lastly, stay free. Freaking legendary, guys.